Hello friends, it's Sherry. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm here having a little fun with a little project, uh, making some little booklets. So the reason I'm doing this is because I was in inspired by a customer that I had. She had bought a journal from me and along with it I sent, you know, a little booklet that I had made with um, it was some um, printed card stock and I had printed, it was a digital, uh, it was a design team project actually, the journal was, and I used a piece of the uh, digital to um, print it on file folder to make the covers and then put some little papers in there. And I sent that along with the journal, right? So she sent me a, a message recently and said, hey, can you make me another little notebook i love that little notebook and she had carried it around with her in her purse or whatever and filled all the pages up with all her notes and lists and ideas and whatever she wrote on there and she sent me some pictures and it was like oh wow that is so cool that you know to see you know when people use your goodies that you send them in your journals and things that you make um that someone used them and so she wanted me to make her another one so i did and she's already done she's already bought it you know, I put them in my Etsy and she bought them. I actually, she asked me for one and made two. And I didn't expect her to buy two, but she went ahead and bought both of them. So anyway, that inspired me today. Or, you know, since I did that about a week or so ago, I was like, I really, you know, kind of like making those. I made the two for, you know, for her. I was like, those were really fun. I want to make some more. So um, in the past, I have made some little booklets with, I used a Monopoly, you know, the property cards. I don't know if, you, if you've if you been with me for a while, you might remember that. And that video is in my video somewhere. But um, yeah, if you wanna uh, look for that, uh, where I made those, I'm making these the same way, but um, that, if you, you know, search the person's YouTube channel name and then put what you're looking for, like notebooks or Monopoly card notebooks or something like that underneath uh, in your search bar you you it should pop up so anyway here's one I just made just now because I was like well what you know what do I want to make some notebooks with you know there's oodles of things you can make and use for covers right so um, I got these out because they're small flashcards this, I didn't cut these or anything this is how they came and so I got two of them use one for the front and one the, one for the back and I put as many papers as I felt like I could fit in here. I cut up some, I had cut, I've said this before and you maybe remember, I had cut up some pages for a journal and I, um, or some journals and I cut up too many. So I just took some of those pages and cut them down to fit in here. So you can see they're all different kind of little papers in here. A book pages, scrapbook paper, just colored paper. Uh, there's probably some graph paper, line, all kind of line paper, just uh, all kinds of things in here. So I put as many papers as I could felt I felt like I could fit. As you can see, here's the metal coil, and you see how you know it's you know you see the width here. And you see the papers take up pretty much that room, right? So when I put these in my shop, I like when I put the Monopoly ones in my shop. I said something about chunky notebooks, something like that. And, um, uh, you know, there was no problem. You know, I think I made five of them. They're all gone now. They're all sold. But I remember one person messaged me and said, how many pages are there? <laughs> and I was like, uh, they, you know, I didn't, I'm not counting the pages. I just am cutting papers and putting them together. Uh, just a chunk of papers. So, um, I just said that I just said that I, I just put a chunk of papers in there. I don't think she was happy about that. <laughs> but I'm not going to sit here and count all of these pages. There's a chunk of papers in here. And that's what, that's how many pages are in here. A chunk. So, <laughs> anyway, here's my, um, here are my uh, flashcards. Uh, they are red on one side. Like once, once addition on one side. And the other side is subtraction. And the answer is up in the corner, it looks like. Six minus six is zero. Well, I don't know. Oh, but probably the answer to is on the other side. So six plus zero is six. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. So here's the equation and here's the answer. But anyway, I just think they're cute and something, you know, different maybe to do with, 
your flashcards if you and if you have if you don't have little ones like this you could take regular size flashcards whatever size you have and cut them down to or make your little notebooks bigger right so I thought well, what else what else can I make a little notebook out of so I kind of I don't think I've ever have I ever made one out of a uh, out of playing cards I don't remember that I have so I just pulled out this one these are new I have lots of vintage ones too but these were just so pretty because these are you know these are flashcards and I was like well I want to make a pretty something pretty I used scrapbook paper on my my customers that asked me to make some I used like cardstock scrapbook paper so it'd be kind of a sturdy you know cover and so this one I thought would be fun to make maybe one out of a flat of a playing card so these are the scraps from the previous one I just made so I thought I'd cut these first and see if I can use these up so I don't have these scraps I have a bunch more scraps too these take uh, longer than you think because they cutting all these papers takes some time. So let's let's get busy and see if we can make a little playing card one here. Um, if I think it's taking too much time, I might just pause and cut the rest of the papers or something. But I'll show you what I'm doing. So I'm gonna cut these down real quick. These just these few and see if we can use all of these. I've got all of these scraps right here too. All of these, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm hoping to use my butterfly punch on these, but uh, we'll see. If there's some cardstock ones in here, which I think there are, I, uh, I have another idea for, and I could use some of these too if I back them with some cardstock. But I have an idea. I have to, I have to remember what it was. But I saw some like tags that were so cute. So I might be able to use some of those for some tags. So let's see if these are small enough now or or if they're too small or what. So like this is fine. Uh, the corners are rounded on this. So see how the little point is sticking out? I would probably have to round the corners on the paper so that's gonna take even longer. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think they're fine. I kind of don't want to Two of the same papers together so I would move those around and the ones that are maybe down in there they're a little bit see like this one here and that one I just put in there is in there and um, this one here is a little bit you know not as wide so like those won't be sticking out over the corner so I wouldn't worry about you know trying to get in there and round those corners and these are um, small rounded corners I would say I don't think they're they're not large and I don't even think they're medium so this, um, you know, my uh, corner rounder that I always use has large, medium, and small. So let's let's try out the small here. See if I can can I punch all of these at one time. It doesn't let you put that many papers in there. Oh, it did. Well, it didn't get them all. Hold on. There's a little point there. Let me do it this way. I don't know. I can't really see that way though. <laughs> but yeah. Okay scrap there okay so we got that one that was uh I think it was this way so let's do this one again one we've got I'm gonna do all four corners I guess all right so I was thinking also when I was getting ready to do this well what if you I'm using my bind at all one reason I also want to do this is because I have this whole package of these these are three quarter inch bind, you know, binder coils, <clears throat> and um, I don't, you know, this is the only thing I would use those for. So I would like to kind of use them up because I can also use the next size up for these little notebooks, and I could then I could actually fit more papers in there too if I wanted to. But I have a one inch, I have a lot of one inch coils too. So. Um, yeah, I would just like to use these up, so I thought, well, why not make some of these notebooks? I wanted to make some, and uh, why not go ahead? So let's see how this fits behind my little... See, that's that's good. I am not going for perfection here, but I do want, if I can, get all the papers inside the <laughs> playing card. I, that's my goal. So this is sticking up a little bit here. I don't like that, so let's see if we can cut... These are just those scraps that I'm kind of working on here. And then we're going to get busy on cutting some more. 
So let's cut these down a little bit more. Now I'm gonna have to probably round those corners again because I'm kind of like cutting them off. But that is the process of trial and error here. <laughs> so I hope everyone's gonna have a good day. Good Sunday. <clears throat> We are, we are going to my son's. My youngest son is having a little 4th of July party at his house tonight instead of tomorrow. Uh, what was the reason for that? Oh, because everyone has to go to work the next day on Tuesday and they didn't want to be, you know, out late <coughs> and then have to go to work the next day. So... You know, because you don't start your fireworks until it gets dark, and it doesn't get dark till I'm going to say it doesn't get dark enough for fireworks until at least, I would say, 9.30. So they might start at 9.30 or quarter to 10 or something like that. So, all right, so I want my, okay, it doesn't matter which way this goes, either way. So like that. And this will be the back. So when I cut, um, I'm going to put... Like I could do the coils here and maybe I'll make some more with the coils up here. This time I already had planned on putting them over here like I did on this one, a side kind of binding. So uh, what I'll do is the process is uh, just, I just put them in here. I'm gonna use six holes. So that's what this is, six holes. And I kind of line it up and just kind of get it, you know, center here on the holes and I kind of look at it when I first do my first punch I kind of memorize where I have it <laughs> right so I've got there's two little grooves here and they go each side goes a little bit beyond the groove so I kind of I don't know this is just me this is how I do it. it's probably not really the best way to do it if you're not good at memorizing where your where your um everything is but then you just punch if you haven't seen this before it's just like a, for right now it's just a hole punch it's got a little stabilizer bar here that you pull out that goes in and out you pull that out when you're punching so that you're you know keep everything stabilized here's my holes and I'm going to cut a piece of wire so one two three four five six little things that are going to go in the six little pieces that are going to go in my holes there. I just cut one and it cut so easy. I was like, because the other day I was trying to cut them. I was like, oh, that was hard. And, and then today I was cutting them. I was like, oh, that was easy. <laughs> you know, so it just depends on what your angle you're cutting it out sometimes. I'm cutting off the little extra pieces here. So it doesn't have that extra kind of piece to poke anybody. Um, there's a little bit one, little one here, but I think that one might be okay. Let me see if I can cut it a little bit more. Yeah, I got it. Okay. So then I'll show you how it's gonna. Um, there's a couple different ways to do this as far as the binding. These I'm just gonna do it like this. You know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it the other way, but I'm just gonna do it like this. I poke that, you can poke that in there. You can go ahead and get started when you start cutting your pages if you want. The other one I didn't. I just cut all my pages. Then I put the coil in. But see, there it started. We'll put that to the side. We'll cut this one. I can go ahead and cut this one too. Um, it was probably too thick to cut at the same time. Or unless I wanted to, um, you know, cut just the covers together. I could have done that. But... I have done this before, but if you've never done this before and you maybe you have one of these, you maybe you've never used it before, it is a good idea to cut your covers together so that they're the same exactly the same. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'll go ahead and do it now with my little memorized place where I had it basically just centered here on in my on my you know around my holes. Here's my holes and, and you know a little space on either side. So I'll go ahead and make, I'm just double checking it now. Make sure it's centered, and then I'm just going to cut. And I have more playing cards, right? Usually we have a, a bunch of these if we have playing cards, so that'll be my back. So I'll put that to the side, and now we're going to cut some more papers. So I'll go ahead and use this for my template, my back. And what I've been doing is taking 
like, um, <clears throat> let's see, three, basically three pieces of paper. Let's see, so I've got, this is a be this will be a writing page. This is a book page, and this is, I'm considering this a writing page, even though it has something here. It's, this is a spritzed green um, dye on the back, so it's basically blank here, so it can be writing there, so. It's kind of a little kind of junk journaling notebook, right? <clears throat> so kind of a fun little notebook, I think. And yeah, just don't ask me to count the pages because <laughs> I'm not counting them. I am not counting them. I don't have time for that. <laughs> it's a chunky, it's a chunky notebook. <laughs> All right. All right, I wanna make sure. I don't wanna cut it crooked, so let's do it. All right. Uh, yeah, I can cut butterflies out of that. <laughs> you see why I have so many butterflies, right? Uh, but I can go through flowers and stuff too. So we'll see if I get to, if my butterfly. My butterflies are pretty full. So if I do a few more butterflies and then it starts to get like to the top, I will. I just like to share those because I think everybody likes butterflies, so that's why I do butterflies a lot because I think people, you know, everybody likes butterflies and so I like to put them in my goodie bags. So while I'm cutting this strip that we measured for the width, I go ahead and cut as many pages as I can. And see here, I have, I'm going to have a little, I always take my, my template out so I don't cut it or cut into it or anything like that. So there, so yeah, just make a stack of pages. Here's some scraps, and I'll put that in my butterfly scrap pile. <laughs> Hopefully I won't have to add that. If I don't have time to cut butterflies, I'll have to add that to my, um, so add that to my, add that to my scrapbook, scrap box until I get time. Okay, so this, let me put it up here. That will be easier. So you get the idea. Well, <laughs> no, it's all right. Hello, Sherry. What am I doing? This is the way to do it. <laughs> Getting confused here. Okay. All right. There we go. Now that's not a scrap we're keeping. That's going to go in the trash. So you get the idea. I'm going to, I think, so that I don't just use up all my time cutting pages, I will pause, finish cutting pages, and come back and show you as I finish up, you know, I will finish it up with you as far as cutting, hopefully punching the holes and putting the little covers on. So <clears throat> I will be right back and we'll do that together. Okay, I've got my chunk of papers ready. <laughs> Here's my chunk. Um, there were some that, uh, like if the book pages had an up or down, I tried to keep them upright. So hopefully I did, but I don't want to waste any time going through them. We're going to go through them after I get them in here. Um, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and I'll show you how I'm punching these. So, you know, you saw the previous punch. And so these are doing the same way. I'm just, make sure you punch on the right, you know, whatever side you want to punch on, make sure you're punching the holes on the right side. If you have a, um, you know, one of these little bind, bind it alls or whatever this is called, Zutter bind it all. And I got this on Amazon in case you've never seen me use this before. But I just, when I first started junk journaling in 2015, I ordered this uh, from Amazon. This is how I bound my first journals actually my first journals I used binder rings then I start saw then I discovered this little this little machine and I loved it so I got one of these and I did these too and the rest is history right <laughs> so yeah those took a New York more than a New York minute to cut all those pages and I rounded all the corners too but um, <clears throat> uh, I was gonna say if you don't have one of these you could use a hole punch and just a regular hole punch and punch holes and then bind it with some ribbon or like some, I don't want to talk too much and mess this up, but um, ribbon or some little notebook rings. They, I have little notebook rings and they're almost gone, but little like, they're probably three quarter inch, um, but you can get those on Amazon. 
uh, if you want to try that. Or you can just use a piece of paper that you fold and then sew them in like you do a journal or um, sew them in with your sewing machine. It just limits your pages. When you know, that's why I like doing this. I can put tons of pages in here and then, um, you know, it doesn't limit me in the number of pages because I'm not trying to sew through them with a needle and thread or I'm just trying to make sure they're in the right direction. <clears throat> needle and thread or sewing machine, right? So I can get more pages in this. So you could do, if you punch holes with a hole punch, you could use, like I said, ribbon or or notebook rings, and then you can get more pages in. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I think I don't want to talk too much, like I said, and then you punch the holes wrong. So let me concentrate a little bit here. See if we can get this done before my time is up. So I'm going to, like, just kind of do a little assembly line here. All right, see, I gotta punch all of these. And um, there's a space here, like I can punch pr pretty many at the same time. Let me try to punch all of these and see if they go through easy or, I think they'll go through easy. I think I could actually put a few more in there, but let's punch these and then maybe next time we'll put a few more. Can you see over here? Yeah, you can. You can see my little, my little zutter pipe bind it all here. So yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put these two little <laughs> notebooks in my shop. Oh yeah, that's a little hard. That's about the limit right there that I would want to do. Okay. That that's about the limit for for me. I don't know. That's probably about ten pages. So see, even this has a hole in it from where it was in a notebook or something, that graph paper, and I just left it there and cut it as a page. It's just a fun little notebook, you know, no, no um, perfection here, just kind of like junk journaling type style and e eclectic because it's, um, you know, all different types of pages. And, oh, I was going to mention I did, I got, these are new, I mentioned that these are new playing cards that I'm using. I got them at dollar tree probably uh over a year ago so you know you can pick up wherever you see pretty playing cards you know if you don't have any you don't have to have vintage ones if you don't want you can use any playing cards if you want to use playing cards you can use any playing cards i think that's a little thick let me to do like three more punches here i think we're going to make it i'll pause if i have to uh cheat on the time a little bit here but uh I think I'll make it if I hurry up. <laughs> I'm, almost, I'm almost done. And then, then I'll show you. Because it's really fun to flip through and just see all the different pages. And if you wanted to use it as a little mini junk journal, that certainly would be fun, wouldn't it? I was thinking of doing that, actually. And um, maybe doing like a... Like next year with the collage challenge that I'm on now. I'm on, you know, that collage challenge. We do it the first Wednesday of every month. It's junk journaling with Julie and Lee's um, and Lee. So um, I thought, wouldn't it be cool to do that on little pages <laughs> instead of I'm doing a book? I'm enjoying that. I'm going to do that this year. But if they do it again next year and I get to uh, participate, I thought, wouldn't it be cool to challenge myself to do it on a little tiny pages? And that's what I could do with something like this. And I think that would be really fun just to have. All these little tiny collages, wouldn't it? I think it would be really fun. It might be really hard, but it might be really fun too. So, all right, the last punch. We're on the last punch. So, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. But it's pretty self-explanatory, I think. And I want to make some more of these. You can see they take a little time. So, uh, you know, as I have time, I'll make some more. Like, I hadn't really had any time since I made the Monopoly ones to really sit down and punch a bunch, that's my phone, punch a bunch of uh, papers, but I thought I would do it today. Okay, so see, we've got the coils already in there. I've got my little knob set. There's little measurements here. I've got it set at three quarters of an inch, and then I just put this in here, and again, this is where you, you know, push the coils together. It kind of squishes them together. There's a little bar that comes out here, and then I just push the little bar down down again. It's really an amazing little machine here. And then you um, look. Oops, I didn't get that one. I'll do that again. But the rest of them are good. So I'm going to do, use it to 
to um, do this even though this one is by itself I'm going to use it I'm not going to use my hand because it might be get all whopper jawed you know and kind of be wonky so I'm going to use the machine because the machine is set at three quarter inches so it knows it knows where to stop right so I'll show you how that works all right so squish together see it's like you didn't even know it you don't even know it was left out there the first time I just didn't have it in front of the bar probably this little bar that comes out right here and it squishes everything together so isn't that a cool little machine and here's our little notebook our little chunky notebook lots of pages in there there might be uh, let's see it goes like this I see a page upside down there so it goes like this and you can push the little coils to the back where it comes together and the cool thing is it lays flat and you can even wrap it all the way around and you know it's very very flexible but um, we have a few minutes so let's just flip through see um, you can see like you can see the pretty cover the same with the flashcard one and then you get to see what it was right we didn't cover it up it's a playing card of course you can see what this is because we didn't cover that up either but it's you can see what it is from the front and this you might might not be sure when you first look at this you're like what is that and then you open it up and it's a playing card <laughs> and then you just flip through your little scrappy pages that we cut up just with them papers that i had you know sitting here look at that one so cute right a little book page um this is um, scrapbook paper uh, anything that was um, blank on the back i had dyed with some kind of color for the other journal that i was making so there's no i don't believe there's any white pages i had dyed them with green or coffee or something so that's a lot of fun to have that this is uh, from a uh, atlas Oh no, that's from uh, Encyclopedia. So children's book page. It's kind of fun to see how they come out too after you cut them up. <laughs> so um, yeah, just a fun little notebook. I'm not gonna try to show you every page because you know that would. There's probably I don't know. What do you think? How many pages are in here? <laughs> I'm not gonna count them like I said. But um, this is an atlas page and it's right side up on this side, and this is just how it is. Um, upside down on this side so I guess that's some, for some reason it's like that um, I forget why it's like that in the in the book or something and they see this is right side up upside down <laughs> but yeah there's all kind of papers in here this is cardstock and this is a little invoice or something but yeah lots of fun fun papers you get the idea but I hope you enjoyed this fun little craft and maybe you gave you some idea ideas and uh, inspiration to make your own little notebooks and I'm hoping to have these in my shop when you see this video so if you want to pick one of these up while they're available because I only have these two right now and I don't know when I'm gonna have time to make more because I need to work on my retro uh, handyman journal that's what I uh, should be doing right now but I'm making these little notebooks so uh, I will see you all in my next video have a great 4th of July if you're in the U.S. if you're not in the U.S. just have a great weekend and uh, I gotta go and let my, my my son's dogs out he's out of town so <laughs> I will see you all in my next video have a great day and happy crafting